<laughs> Don't explain. Right, okay, so this will happen 14 or 15 times. It goes on and on and on. Again, a bit like Dave. This is your reaction, isn't it? Dave? Oh, all right, all right. Don't go on about it. Well, it's, it's a bit, bit slow. At least it's, at least it's, it's working. Yeah. No, we, we, we did Fisher Science World in Wembley Stadium, all right? And I did that, and nothing happened, all right? And I was looking at all these fantastic Brian memories. Cox, yeah. yeah, and Brian Cox. I don't talk about Brian Cox. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Cox. Every time I, no, seriously, every time I explain to people what I do, I say I'm a professor of public understanding of science. I say, Oh, you're a bit like Brian Cox. I say, no, he's a bit like me. All right? That's, all right? The only difference is he's got his own TV show and I haven't. All right? All right. Anyway, as you can see, it's swinging back and forth and it's too late. Right, we'll let it do it one more time and then we'll move on to something more interesting. Because this is kinetics. Reactions going from A and back to B and back to A again. And um, if you ask any physical chemist, sometimes they'll explain it. That actually gives out light rather than heat. Now, these are oxide esters. And they are the science of glow sticks. The pretty white one there. And uh, me and Dave have been working really hard to, um, to sort of line that up. We've got pretty blue ones. Blue, like my eyes. Can you see that? <laughs> yes. What else have we got here? Right? What, what, what's this one? Green! <laughs> This last you got I gave you the ostrich egg, didn't I? Yeah. I remember you. <laughs> Don't give my thunder away. Don't tell them what's coming up. It's green, like remember what it's like? Yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> like Dave's tea. Oh, <laughs> now we we've been working on that for a little. That is red. <laughs> this one. Do you want to do it? Not do it. <laughs> <laughs> We did, I know, we've got the two yeah. comedians in the front there. <laughs> right. Now, this one, now, I make you a this promise that if there are no squeals of ooh and ah, and isn't Professor Hallett Trooper, they will buy you a pint after the show, all right? <laughs> Ready for this? Three, two, one. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Give it up for the science of Oxlade Essence. Is that like, like a mamba, or a cobra, or a... Snake. Snake? <laughs>
Well out of order. So I think we should oh, just no. sit those both. Yeah. We are going to sit. <laughs> sit respect, please. Long, I'll get frostbite. And I should have said at the beginning of the show, don't do these experiments, we do them so you don't have to, alright? Don't try any of this at home. You mustn't try sucking in gases, and you certainly mustn't put glue in your mouth. Ow! That really hurts! <laughs> 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 Did you need this for that one? And um, I'd like to tell you about the, the other compound I'm going to put in here. I'd like to tell you this is so, years and years of painstaking research by me and Dave. Unfortunately, that would be a big fat hey. lie because it's food colouring. Did you go there? <laughs> oh yes, the wonder of the food colouring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is pretty spectacular actually. Right? Um, yeah, now what's that? It's a chemistry balloon. <laughs> so, we're going to illustrate some of the fantastic properties of solid CO2. Now the first thing is, observe please, I'm taking a handful. And this white vapour that's coming out is water vapour because the CO2 that's coming out is very, very cold, right? First of all, where is it going? Up or down? Up. Oh, no. Down. <laughs> 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 Technically it's going up and then it's rapidly going down. We just illustrated that CO2 is denser than air. Now, if we can just put a little bit more, it's two hands full of CO2. Uh. I'm going to use my chemistry balloon here. And, um, <laughs> Occupy much more space than solids. Now you can see, first of all, the CO2 supply at the bottom. This is the CO2 turning from a solid <laughs> down here. It's only to emulate anything we do but like the, the gap. Like uh, shooting in the face. <laughs> Most upper echelons of the university don't like being shot in the face, do they? Sorry. Anyway, David might have been shot in the back. Now that, and get on slightly white shade on Dave's back. Sorry, I don't know what you're getting. I mean, I don't know But it's like, it's just a nice scientific spectacle. And to prove my point, 
And I'm not touching the switch here. If you lift it out, it'll last about three seconds before it just goes out. And back and off, alive, oh, yes, come on, hurry up. There you go. Beautiful phosphorus sun. Now the smoke or the dust is phosphorus pentoxide, which when dissolved, dissolved in water, calm down. And when dissolved in water, it's phosphoric acid, which is in Coca-Cola. So that is a real thing. And you can see what's going to happen is you can get some nucleation sites, and it's going to turn into tendrils, which is why I think it's better called the phosphorus jellyfish. It's so beautiful. It's not hot, and it's not phosphorescent. It's white phosphorus burning in pure oxygen. And it's the only other phosphorus that burns like that. The other two other threats, of course, are red phosphorus and black phosphorus. Isn't that lovely? Look at those lovely tendrils. It's a really big one today, isn't it, chap? Look, look. It's a really lovely one. One of my favourite experiments is such a classic experiment. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, time in. Yes. Uh, the lights down there. So, ready? Three, two, one.